Okay, well, a quick sip of coffee and I'm right back at it, ladies and gentlemen. We've already talked about these three bezel buttons and how important they are. And this is a big one if you're not super fast and you know it's gonna take you a little while to do. These ones do go a lot faster, so don't run away just yet. So, this is the biggest one, that guy right there. Mm, man, foot stomping right now, foot stomping moment. You have to make sure you choose the right one. The reason is that, let's look at this, 10,500 feet. It's telling us that we would have an 18 knot tailwind, a 12 knot tailwind, or winds calm, right? It's basing the, its winds aloft according to what you have set as your takeoff time. So if you're actually leaving tomorrow <laughs> at zero eight, at you know 10 a.m. for your check ride, you may want, and this used to be a pain in the butt, you had to wait till five minutes for your check ride. Um, for you now, you just plug this in and it never changes. You show up to your check ride, you still have current and valid data and you, the computer does it for you. It's a really powerful tool, but you have to, at least, used to, you had to plan an entire route over again. Okay, don't be so lazy as to not just at least push this one button. Okay, so push the button, make sure you have the appropriate time selected. And that's gonna change the winds aloft, which in turn is gonna change your total fuel burn. Okay, so that's the significance and that's why the question, well, how much fuel are we gonna burn? Really leads to every single uh, performance calculation you can possibly make. So push that button and select the appropriate one. If your examiner were to ask you, well, why did you select that altitude? It's not uncommon for this leg right here to have a west, westerly heading. That is not uncommon because the heading is 021. Let me show you how to take that out. You will be asked, well, what's the hemispheric rule based on? It's based on back magnetic course. Okay, the only way I know to get the winds out so you can get a magnetic course is just drive these winds aloft so far that there are no winds aloft included. Now, your heading will be a magnetic course, M course, magnetic course. Let's put the winds back in. Now, it's a magnetic heading. See the difference? It used to say course right there. Now it's a magnetic heading. Winds aloft are not based on heading, and if the winds are strong enough out of the west, it's not uncommon for this to be a westerly heading while it's an easterly course, okay? Magnetic, uh, the hemispheric rule is based on magnetic course, and the way you drive that out is to push the winds aloft, so push your estimated time of departure so far out that there is no winds aloft forecast, or you can just drive your altitude down to zero. That will also work and that'll give you a magnetic course instead of a heading because it cannot calculate for winds. All these numbers will be blanked out because it doesn't know what to do. So you have to force an error into the system if you want a magnetic course. A lot of guys uh, don't know how to figure that out, and there you go. Routes. This mostly applies to IFR uh, bubbas that are wanting to see what ATC is issuing to people. Procedures. If you're VFR, don't skip this button, procedures. It is extremely valuable with this traffic pattern feature. If you're connected to the internet, it's gonna go ahead and tell you what the best runway is, runway six, but you can quickly see that it's 2,200 feet. I wanna go do that, that looks like a lot of fun. But we probably, if you're learning to fly, aren't gonna be doing that in the early phases of training. So let's select one of these other longer runways because that's what people are using really. Uh, it says winds are zero six zero at six, so literally a direct crosswind. We'd really have to figure out what the folks are using, but let's just set up for runway three. 33, sorry. Okay, it's going to ask us how do we want to enter. It's going to say this one. I like that. Add it to our route. And now what it's done, I'm going to close this it has literally built a traffic pattern for you and it's correct it's a perfect traffic pattern it's phenomenal it's in your uh, fuel planning and everything see there 45 to 33 let's go procedures i want to show you something really cool if this is what always ends up happening always where they end up landing south and we're coming from the west so we have to cross midfield and do a teardrop to a 45 add route 
close that. It literally builds it. This is ginormous because most students are just really blown blown apart by this. In the the very first few times they see it, they get here, they want to turn, they're so eager to turn, turns into a real disaster. Just follow this route. Oh my gosh, this is such cool technology, guys. You really want to use it if you can. You don't have to if you've been flying for a little while and it's not your first time. But if it is your first time and it's just so easy to make mistakes, this is so easy that it's impossible to mess up. That's why I like it. It's really, really cool technology. So feel free to use that. And that's it for these three buttons. And now all we have to do is a quick conclusion and we'll be done with this. Hey, thanks for hanging in there with me. I'll see you back here in just a minute.